Good morning, I'm Ken Dorn. I'm one of the uh, SWD techs. Uh, today we're gonna discuss the uh, T4 pump, <clears throat> T4 transfer pump. Um, this is a new style that Graco just came out with. Uh, it has a detachable air motor part, so you can leave the bottom fluid part in the barrel. So say if you have an open cell and a closed cell job, instead of having to switch this out, you can leave this in the barrel, go to another one, and just slide the air motor apart. Um, today I'm gonna to show you how the air motor comes apart, disconnects from the actual fluid part. It has like a muffler clamp right here. Um, these remind me of the kind you see on the diesel engines. And all you do is you rotate it like that. Slides apart. There's the clamp assembly. And then this just slides and comes out. So this part will still be in your barrel. and you just transfer this to your new barrel. Um, one of the things you need to look at is when you have this, there's a lip right here and this, which is the actual locking gauge to the air motor part. The air motor on a T3 and a T4, um, they're the same parts. Uh, I looked them up, it's got the same part numbers, but if you order a kit for a T4, it has a specific kit different than the T3. Uh, one of the things that you wanna look at when you put this together, you slide this over, you engage this brass locking clip, and then you have to twist it a little bit to engage the clip to put this together. Once it's engaged, you'll see that this is fairly flush right here Take your muffler clamp, put it around. If it's not engaged, the muffler clamp won't go around. It gives it too much room the way it's set up. And all you do is drop your muffler clamp in place, tighten it down. Greg recommends going hand tight and then a quarter turn, a half a turn more. This pump here has got the same fluid requirements or fluid output as the T3. The main thing they made this for was it was a quick change. A lot of guys have trailers out there that are low trailers uh, and we're having hard times getting the pumps out. So they came up with this idea to where now you can put this in the barrel, put that in the barrel, and all you're doing is switching out this part right here. So I can go from open cell to closed cell, all I gotta do, I don't have to worry about flushing all this out. I just go over here, connect it up, Press on. Um, it's a good system. It has the same pressures as the T3. Um, Graco recommends not going over 80 PSI. Uh, over 100, this little valve here pops off. Um, that's why it's so important. If you get this in and these aren't installed, make sure you look at the arrows. It shows the airflow. Okay. If you put it in backwards, which people have, as soon as they put air to it, this will open up and bleed off the air. And it'll say, hey, the regulator's not working. Well, it's not reading nothing because it's blowing it off. Uh, this is a standard regulator. You pull it out, turn it to where you want it, push it in, lock it. Other than that, it's a good pump. Um, it's a little bit shorter than the T3 by 0.2 inches. Uh, this is 50.1, T3 is 50.3. So you're not saving that much room, but you got the availability of taking this off and not having to worry to pull it out. Uh, all this here is the same as the T3, this whole section right here. So the main thing you have to worry about is when you work on this, this section here is different. The actual fluid part is different. It has different seals. The uh, foot valve, it's held in by a little pin, the ball. Uh, that's the old school, the way they used to do those. Um, this has a ball in it. It's not held in by a spring clip or a washer. If you have any questions, call SWD Tech Line. Uh, we can answer your questions. Uh, if you need to find out the specs, you can go online, go under Graco T4 transfer pumps. <laughs>